Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about the selectivity of COX-2 inhibitor. But before I begin, I explained a bit the difference between COX-1 and COX-2 enzyme. The difference will be the amino acid that make up the enzyme. For COX-1, we have isoleucine at position 5 to 3. Whereas for COX-2 enzyme, we have valine instead at position 5 to 3. Valine is actually less bulkier compared to isoleucine. Thus, valine actually creates more space to fit in a bulky group of drugs. So, in short, if the drug has a bulky group or a large molecule, it will have a better fit with COX-2 enzyme compared to COX-1. So, here we have the triangular framework for COX-2 drugs. If the drug does not have this triangular layout, it will actually lose its activity. And the A part is denoted with this red structure. The B part will be the aromatic ring or fanny ring here. And the hydrophobic substituent will be the trifluoromethyl and also methyl here. One more important structure will be sulfonamide or sulfon presents. So for efficacy, we need, uh, for efficacy, we have this methyl sulfony group. And for the salicosy, we have the sulfonamide group. With reficacy here as our example, the oxygen here will actually form a very strong hydrogen bonding with the side pocket of COX2 enzyme. Since this structure is actually not available in COX-1 enzyme, this increases the selectivity of the drug towards COX-2.